So, WandaVision, episode 5 of the first season. I didn't do a video on episode 4 either, so I'm going to kind of jumble them all together. And in episode 4, we took a step out and we caught up to WandaVision in... Kind of, in a way, it seemed that in episode four that the people outside are seeing more. Uh, we get to see that Dr. Darcy Lewis is now involved with things, so she's out of the Thor franchise and boom, plopped right into this with the FBI agent, Mr. Wu. And <clears throat> yes, uh, you see in some notes and stuff that people have revealed in the video by looking closely at the whiteboards and stuff that they have obviously seen some different episodes and stuff like that. That is that, 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 that is not what we've kind of seen. Maybe they've seen the show as full seasons or whatever outside and we have not. Um, we've only seen the two episodes, one taking place in each uh, era, it seeming, seemingly, um, for the first three episodes, four, uh, four episodes, as I said, is taking place outside. And now in the fifth episode, we have a kind of a jumble between the outside and the inside. We seemingly... With Monica now being outside of the show, uh, or are kind of watching with them in a way, because there was a point in this episode where, hey guys, spoilers, the kids are here, the kids are here, and um, they uh, seem to have some abilities uh, to age quickly. Very quickly, uh, just was just, just crazy. Um, and and so they make a note to say that, that hey, now the kids are at this age instead of that age because they went from like zero to five to ten in no time and stuff like that. It was really crazy. And and the show uh, then kind of makes a little weird thing, like like because Vision immediately is 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 unlocked it seems um to everybody else and wanda wanda at first they kind of seemed like they were perfectly in sync everything wanda did he kind of was like right there with her but now it seems they're they're kind of separating and and it's it's very obvious that it, vision is seeing things uh, and differently than wanda is and he's not getting jump cut it as much as he was at first uh so maybe that, that wanda is, is losing some sort of grip because it is more and more clear that she is supposedly the controller of everything going on here but i feel that she still is maybe somehow locked in this some other way somebody else is 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 put her there because there is still some some missing gaps in her mind of how they got there and where they are and all that type of stuff so i i'm still locked into my my weird little theory that it's vi um, not vision uh ultron so you know that's just me though still still I think it's still ultron trying to take his, his body back uh from vision uh getting vision and you can somehow manipulate them because you know as i'm watching uh age of ultron over there's talk of children and things like that and, and moving on with your your biology and stuff like that so you know he may be manipulating her in some way shape or form with these with the kids and stuff like that because they really seem really weird in in, in, in trying to get her to use her powers to resurrect uh, resurrect things bring things back to life like th that that seems to be something that is brought up a lot uh in this episode like this is this this magic that she, or whatever power she has bringing things back to life in some way shape or form or you know that it's it's or changing things and re reforming them using her like her crazy amount of power changing like Monica Rambo's clothes like that she was wearing like a bulletproof vest and things like that and then her clothing uh it was changed into that 70s outfit and in when she was brought back to the real world it's made out of like the material of the bulletproof vests and things like that it's like it was repurposed and and changed in some way shape or form so maybe she could have brought vision back to life that way by repurposing things and rewiring and changing it with magic and now like their kids are some some sort of form of manipulation to make her use her power to bring somebody else back maybe ultron 
Ah, I don't know. That's just the thing. But somebody, somebody, maybe, maybe in some way, because even Agnes was involved in that. She seemingly, her bush uh, that the dog ate whatever leaves from killed him. She found him or something. I thought she ran him over. <laughs> the way she had him wrapped up and the car was like right there at the bushes or whatever. I thought he was hiding in the bush, came out and boom, got hit. But either way, uh, it seems like she was in some way, shape or form involved in that. And she's been involved with the visions, uh, kind of like re realizing things is, things are getting weird and not right. And maybe awakening him to fight with her will be a way to change him and, or something i don't know i don't know it's getting interesting we're gonna get to the halloween episode soon um and yeah they were gonna fight it seemed there was a couple there's uh ah oh, maybe about five-ish i can think of like scenes or so that were in the trailers that were from this episode yeah it seems like this episode was kind of like the fifth episode you're getting close to that eight number eight mark, uh, the final of the season, uh, and and they're like, there's a lot going on. This one's so we're gonna show a lot because this is kind of the, the spoiler territory right here. This is where things are getting crazy because after this episode, we really don't want to show any clips of those, but they still do with obviously like the Halloween episode and, and Vision. Well, now with the more recent trailers for the next couple episodes, yeah, but at first, when the first released, the very first trailers of the show, they didn't show a lot of, like, Vision fighting to get out of the bubble and things like that, but they showed a lot of, like, the, the pacifiers popping and, uh, Jer uh, it's not Geraldine, I keep thinking it's her, but it's Agnes, I don't know why I said Geraldine, it was Agnes, Agnes, um, Agnes uh, coming in and you know doing the with the poofy hair and such like that and the the whole like like oh my god isn't that a gas or, no that's from the other episode either way it seems like a lot of stuff came from this episode you know the flying thing um, that little bit was from this episode also so there there, there was some stuff that it seems like this was kind of like the, the, the these are this and this next episode I think maybe that Halloween episode and you know and then. So here's major spoilers for the end of the episode. We what I thought was gonna be cut pretty, pretty, right on the point of the door opening type of situation. The, the episode was going for pretty long. Uh, that, this is the longest episode that we've had at the show. Uh, so I was really expecting things to just end pretty soon. Cause just how the feeling of that 25 24 minute mark hitting and no it was still going and they showed that evan peters is possibly quicksilver cat dennings character even said it um oh she recasted her brother and possibly recasted him with the and not marvel with the x-men universe's uh, quicksilver but is it him? Is he playing? Because he's, yeah, everybody, yeah, obviously there was the reaction, brother, it's you, oh my god, you, you're dead, but it's the other you, you're not you, so are you you, are you you, or are you somebody else that's taking your form to, in, in her mind, recasting it? What's going on with that? That's the final little bit of the show. Things are really interesting obviously vision is not going to know who that guy is so, because vision as i said is not seeming to be connected with wanda right now so he probably wouldn't get reprogrammed to think that's her brother like she could possibly be interesting it's all very weird what's going on with this one fifth episode we're going into the sixth episode i'm excited i'm still on the side of the ultron i have not heard anybody else saying that one yet so and, but I've also stopped watching a lot of theory videos because eh, it gets convoluted, you know. I, I like my own ideas sometimes. But yeah, I'm still on firm, holding firm. Ultron is uh, manipulating something, and uh, he's trying to get his, his, his body back from uh, from the from Wanda, and, and also to screw with her because, well, you guys are supposed to be on my side, and you flipped on me for those freaking. Avengers, they mess you all up. But Wanda, 
flexing some powers and uh, showing off that she may actually just be it. And that's fine if that's that's it. That's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll let that be. She's going to be the bad guy going into uh, the Spider-Man multiverse and in, in oh, multiverse of madness with uh, Doctor Strange. Whatever. That's fine with me. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know. Have a great day.